corner, and he brings it all the way back. Got Inquist open, coming across the middle, and takes two tackles for the touchdown. Will Evans, wide open. I'm not exactly sure. Side line, and he's going to go. Touchdown, third play, offensive play, with a little sweep. Welcome to Holliston High School and Hiller football. Here come the Hopkins and Hillers on the field now. And Hopkinton High School will take on the Panthers of Holliston in a Tri-Valley League matchup. Um, Hopkinton comes into this game 2-2. Two and two. Holliston comes into the game 3-0. and oh. And it looks like the captains are getting ready to come out to midfield for the coin toss. And we're about two minutes away from football, Don. Thanks, Jay. Um, yeah, we're happy to be here. It's Commission Field. Uh, we got two minutes. This is a this is a big game here for both sides. Um, Hopkinton is coming off a very very tough loss last week against Ashland. Um, it was uh, you know kind of a heartbreaking, typical Ashland Hopkinton football game, a uh, close game, but it uh, it didn't end up on our side this time. So uh, the the Hillers have to get ready. Good evening, ladies and, and gentlemen. Um, Welcome to you know, get ready to play one heck, one heck of a game here, one heck of a team Holliston, in Holliston, which is always difficult to play here. No time to uh, wallow in it, Don, like you said. Each week brings a new challenge, and this is a pretty big one. rivalry should be another great addition tonight. As we have the toss of the coin at the center of the field, this reminder, please, from Matt Baker, the athletic director here. Like, should we be talking? A very good evening to all like, of you. And obviously, we are expecting a great Should we wait till he's Valley done with this? The to the should we wait till he's done with this? Till we to keep as well as establishing okay. a healthy environment for competition and for all fans. Because it feels like I'm trying to talk there over him. Mm -hmm. No, okay. negative statements or actions toward competitors, game officials, or fans in attendance. Have a great time, and remember to honor this okay. policy, please. As soon as we've completed the toss and decided who gets the ball and what direction, we'll have the national anthem with the Holliston High School uh, band. Yeah, It'll be coming up in a moment. I'm sorry. Okay, let's get, okay, that, they'll, they'll edit that part. The Panthers, as you know, are unbeaten this year. Okay, so it looks like Holliston's going to take the ball, Jay. Yep, so Holliston will take the ball first. They're led the by their junior the quarterback, Matt Arvinitis, um, a junior. And carrying the ball will be Dylan Ibbotson and sophomore Tristan Benson. And uh, their their senior receiver, Anthony Zindele, who's the been their top, top be target this year. When we get ready for the yeah, they also the have a dominating lineman, a kid that's committed to go to Harvard. He plays on both sides of the line, so he's going to be difficult to deal with. You know, Holliston always brings in a uh, fast-paced offense and is always well-coached on defense. Um, you know, they, believe me, they will be ready for whatever Hopkinton has to throw at them tonight. It's just going to be about who executes better. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you would rise, please remove your hats. Here comes the national anthem. As we honor America, the Holliston High School Band will perform the national anthem directed tonight by Sean Bellidoe. Nice redemption from the from the band. It's always nice to have a live. Uh, Holliston High School band doing a great man. job. They did a nice, very nice job there. 
But like we were saying, I mean, Holliston is always difficult to deal with, Jay, and uh, especially on this home turf. Um, you know, we've been watching this series now for a while, and um, I have some real nightmares about coming into this stadium, man. Yep, they've seemed to have our number these past few years, with the exception of last year where, where Hopkinton squeaked out a, a narrow victory. Um, you know I, what carried the, the Hillers last year in that game? It was their defense, and, and, and they're going to have to really – step up tonight and uh, control that that war offense that that, that Holliston has and uh, you know we expect Holliston to also be able to throw the ball so we're going to see it right away here um, with uh, with Hopkinton kicking off. Oh, here we go Don Brendan Kelly set to kick off for the Hillers Mitchell Kimblett, Bill Nash back deep to receive the opening Kimblett and Nash back, leap, back deep for Holliston ready to receive and here we go Kelly kicks it to about the 25-yard line, picked up on the right side, cut back, breaks a tackle, nice takes it up the field, almost to about midfield. Looks like at about the 46, 47-yard line. Nice good return, good return by Holliston. That, that was not a very uh, deep kick there, and he fielded it cleanly First and took it up. They really set seven. a nice alley there up for him. It was very good blocking, and uh, he was not touched until he was 20 yards uh, with the football. So that starts Holliston out in very good field position here at the 47-yard line, their own 47-yard line. Holliston takes the field on offense, and Hopkinton on defense where they're led by uh, senior free safety Matt Brown and junior inside linebacker Drew Saparosius. brings him out. Holliston set to take the snap. Holliston hands it off. Looks flag like the, the short gain, maybe one or two yards, Thanks but a flag four, on the play with the Look at maybe offsides by Holliston there, Don. Well, uh, I don't think it was. I think it was offsides at Hopkinton. It was. I think it might have been lined up in the in the neutral zone the way he threw that so quickly. I think they would have called it that. Yeah. Offsides against. You're right, Hopkinton. Don. Lining up in the neutral zone on Hopkinton. That'll make it first down and five for Holliston. First and five. You know, the, the key to this game, or at least one of the keys, is is, is not getting uh, behind. You know, you gotta you gotta you gotta have a quick start or at least at least get get on top of these guys early. Arvanite is back to take the snap. He hands it off to twenty one. Tristan Benson again. Benson for it looks like maybe a three yard gain. Yeah, that you know they ran it behind number seven, seventy-two. I assume that's their big uh, their big lineman there. That's and Scott uh, Elliott. Second and about three. Yeah, and you know a defensive line here um, of uh, Tyler Doherty and you got uh, Stuckel. Stuckel and um, ben, ben Powers. Powers. It's number seventy-four. They held up pretty well there. So, and again, that's going to be important because they're going to play everything off that running game and that war offense. Um, and if we can if we can create negative plays in that, then it's going to behoove Hopkinton in the long run. Second and four for Holliston. Arvanite is back again to take the snap with Benson to his left. He fakes to Benson, throwing down the field. Good catch by number ten. Turper Ryan. Gain of about ten. Number ten Ryan. It'll be a first down for Holliston. First down. Hopkinton had good penetration there right off the bat, but the quarterback kind of read it early, scrambled out of here to the right, made a quick First little uh, out throw, kind of just uh, right there, settled in the zone and um, made a nice move and got another seven yards out of it. Halston with no huddle offense. Arvanite is back to kick the snap again with Benson to his left. Hands it to Benson to the right. Benson. Runs a sweep, turns the corner. Turns the corner. Knocked out of bounds by Brown, but another big gain by Holliston. Yeah, that uh, they did some nice blocking along the line there. I thought now that, uh, that number 20 uh, from Hopkinton was being held there a little bit. They uh, they grabbed the shoulder pad. They didn't call it. It was just a quick quick little grab. But uh, the Holliston running back there looks number 21. Looks like he's got some speed to get to the outside. So we're going to have to hold the edges big time. Boy, 72 is a big kid yeah, down for Holliston. Arvanite is back, takes the snap again, hands it to Benson, who Benson is stopped. Looks like for a loss. Up. Brought down by Saparocious and a host of other Hopkinton defenders. 
Yeah, the the uh, linebackers played that very well. Scan Scanlon, Scanlon came up. And is that is number and twenty Scanlon for yep, Arpenton? Yeah, that's Scanlon twenty. He, uh, he came up and met the pulling Second guard, which was Elliott, and uh, kind of really did a nice job there. Stood his ground, and uh, that gave time for the linebackers to come up there and, and clean it up. So that's what we got to do here, Jay, is put these guys in, you know, second and 11, third and 12, you know, long plays. Put them in, 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 in clear passing downs is what we need to do. So that'll make it sec second and 11 for Holliston. It looks like we're about their 25-yard line. Again, Ibbotson back with, I believe, Benson. Again, the hand is to Benson. He has Davidson. a little bit of a seam, and then a great tackle made there by uh, Kieran Tommy. Her. Is it Kieran Her or Tommy uh, Hamlet? Uh, number eight. Oh, Couldn't if it was tell. eight, it was Hamlet. I thought it was nine. Uh, I think it was nine. I think it was Kieran Her came in and made a nice stop there. It's a great tackle. Yes, that's a big tackle. So now you got third four. down here, and this is what we're talking about, third Jay. Seven, it's third and long for Holliston, third and seven, their 18 yard line. See how the Hiller defense holds up. Ibbotson back to take the snap. He drops back looking to throw. Has a receiver. Bounced it. Short on that one a little bit. And one hop the receiver. That'll make it fourth down and seven. Fourth and seven. I, I don't know. Well, I mean, Halston normally has a good kicking game, but that's still a little bit far for at the high school level. A little so far, and it's a little chilly tonight. They're going to go for it. Yeah, well, it's the first feeling of fall. Like this morning when you went out to work, it was the first feeling that you had that it was it was fall. Yeah, I felt Panthers that. It, I felt that on the golf course today, Don. Fourth down of the night. Fourth and <laughs> Little nip in the air for sure. <laughs> Why do you have to rub that kind of stuff in? <laughs> All right, so now we got fourth and seven. This is a big play right here. I mean, let's get off the field. Let's get the ball in the Hiller's hands and go. Let's see what Coach Kylie and Holliston offense has uh, in store for fourth. Looks like a timeout by Holliston. Timeout, Holliston. Coach Kylie would like to think this over. Well, they get five. They get five timeouts in in the high school football. So you know you, you don't. You know it doesn't work well for folks trying to get to the Red Sox and Yankees game. But uh, you know you don't want. You know don't be shy in using them. You know it's always good to get the kids on the same page and. This will help Hopkinton here. I mean, and like, uh, and like we always say, Don, with timeouts, you can't take them with you. No, no, you really can't. And uh, you know, this is an opportunity here to kind of, you know, send a, a a message. You know, again, like I said last year in this game, the defense for Hopkinton and all year last year they were great. There's only two re returning starters this year. You got uh, Brown, who played a different position. And and Brown was a DN last year. Yeah, I believe. he was a DN, and and Luke uh, and Luke Deloya. Those are the only two returning starters. So, this is a new group of kids, and they have played very well this year. And they've got a big fourth task tonight. All right, here we go with the first big play of the game. Don fourth and long for Holliston at the 18-yard line. Arvinite is back to take the snap. Receiver in motion. He drops back, rolls to his left, looking to throw. On the Clearly a hold on that play. Pass was was caught, which looked like first down distance, but it's not going to matter. That's going to be a hold, and that's going to be fourth there and very long. Yeah, that was that was that was a tackle. Flag actually, the all kinds over. of yellow laundry on the field. Uh, hopefully, there was not any offsetting situation. I, I don't know. I, get, I didn't see anything happen in the defensive backfield, but there's clearly back. holding right here. Yeah, okay, one penalty. All right, so that's a big play right now. Now you got them at, uh, you know, it's fourth and 17. And, you know, if I'm Holliston, you may even want to think about drop. Maybe, maybe a pooch kick. Exactly. You know, close games, field position. Fourth and 17 huge. now, ball at the 28. And even at the high school level, Don, field position does mean something. Oh, yeah. Holliston coming to the line of scrimmage. They are five wide with Ibbotson alone in the shotgun. Ball is snapped. Ibbotson back to throw. Another flag. Throwing to the end zone, and that is overthrown. Incomplete. There is a flag on the play. Bill Nash had some room, but the ball is incomplete. Quarterback for Holliston has a good arm, Don. What would they call there? Roughing sure. the passer? 
And it looked like the flag was. Um, I thought it was earlier than that, but that, what was it? Looks that? like it's against Holliston. It's going to be declined by Hopkinson. Might have been offsides. Uh, Hopkinson offense is coming on the field, it looks like. Uh, yeah, I'm, well, that flag was thrown early, so I wouldn't think it would be. He's calling something off. He's waving it off, but now it looks like illegal procedure. All right, good. Okay, Don, so Holliston turns the ball over on downs. We'll get our first look at the Hopkinton offense led by um, Tri-Valley League formation offensive the player of the year of the last year, field. Ryan Kelleher, at quarterback. Yeah, Ryan. Uh, Ryan's having another there. strong year, and he's poised tonight to set the all-time record for um, Hopkinton quarterbacks uh, for total yardage thrown. That'll he's gonna well beat this. Well, I don't know if it happened tonight, but he's about a couple hundred yards away Again, from um, passing Matt Decina, who uh, had held previously. Held, or, I'm sorry, Michael Decina, who had previously previously held the record. He'll be looking to hook up with number seven, Luke DeLoya. And you'll look for Matt Brown, 24, to run the ball, and Zach Frank also running the ball and catching the ball. Multiple weapons for Hopkinton on offense. Yeah, they got their, their punter, kicker, Matt, uh, Brendan Kelly out here also. And Cole Salyards is the sophomore who's getting a little bit of time, number three. Oh, so we declined that? What was, oh, that was a dead ball is what it was. Pick it. throws and it's incomplete. Okay, all right, so that must have been so a I'm dead ball. So I'm completely confused. Well, it was a pre-snap. It was a pre-snap penalty, so they should have stopped the play to begin with. Being told they were moved them back. I was, told, I was being told they were offsetting penalties on that play, Don, which is why oh. Holliston got one more snap on offense. Really? Okay, well. Uh. But now the, Ho the Hopkinton offense is on the field. Okay, yeah, all right, well. <laughs> I guess it ended we okay now, for Hopkinton. If, if we will now get our first look at Ryan Kelleher and the Hopkinton offense. Kelly and Loya both, Kelly and Deloya both on the left side. That pass is complete, or incomplete to Brendan Kelly. Anthony yeah, Brendan just away. ran a quick, uh, quick little mini post there, and he uh, he was Ryan open. The, the pass was pass. thrown a little behind Tended him, but it was it was catchable. And those are the kind of plays we need down. to execute here. If uh, got to squeeze those, yeah, you got to make those. And plays. Uh, the normally sure-handed uh, Brendan Kelly not able to not able to corral that one. You know, it'll be interesting to see how the Hillers play this, whether we come out throwing a lot or running the ball or how they play. They can play offense a couple different ways. Kelleher back with Brown. Kelleher rolls to his right, again throws, complete, complete. this time. Looks like a five-yard gain. Kieran Herr, the Kieran Herr with the catch. Yeah, that was a nice stick there by number 22 from Holliston. Um, Kieran made, did a good job hanging on to the ball. Yep, Holliston's defense, always physical, Don. Always well quick. coached. And quick. Yeah, they're coached by Paul Athey, who's a longtime defensive coordinator here. Um, he's had several boys come through. He's got four sons that have come through the program. He's got one here. He's a lineman. Um, so, yeah, Paul will have him ready, trust me. Third and five for Hopkinton. Kelleher back to take the snap. He drops back. Throws incomplete. incomplete. Intended for Zach Frank. Hopkins going to have Jack to punt this Frank one away. Uh, so it Kelleher looks like the part of the game plan to start is to, is to throw the ball. And, uh, you know, all three were, were close. The second one was completed. That one there looked like it was kind of in between both receivers. Um, so I'm not sure if that was a miscommunication or what happened there. But looked like uh, there was a little miscommunication between Kelleher and Frank on the route. One of them did. Yeah, it looked like Frank turned the opposite way of where Ryan Brendan Kelly back to be. punt. He gets off an end over end punt that takes a Holliston bounce. And that will be down to, it looks like, the 36-yard line, and Hollis will take over take again. Over. Yeah, that was uh, that was not uh, uh, Brennan's best punt. I mean, he's uh, he's been, I think, a two-time TVL All-Star at the punting position. So it looked like it just kind of went end over and end. There was no return there, and Holliston's getting the ball back now uh, after a quick three and out by the Hillers. First and ten, the ball on the 36. Looks like their defense there. You've got uh, Kieran Hurt at one quarter, cornerback. Hamlet, it's at the other. 
And you got Luke Big DeLoya. Start, you got Saprocious at, uh, at middle linebacker. Ty Scanlon, number 20. Levy's 25. It's like Stuckel's in there. At Stuckel's ben defensive Powers. tackle. Ben is back with Bennett. Benson, sorry. He rolls. He's being pursued and wisely throws it away. Is incomplete. Good pursuit there by Scanlon. Yeah, he's not a real big kid, this Scanlon, quarterback. Scanlon, number 20, um, not fooled at all. And he, uh, you know, he rolled out there. Hopkinton had it covered very well. Second Scanlon got off of his block there and put nice pressure. And now Hollison's at second and ten. Be second and ten for Hollison at their 36-yard line. You know, I remember the days when these were shootouts, you know, putting up 40, 50 points. Last year was a, a tight game, low scoring, and, you know, this, this, this could be the same type of thing, which would be fine with me because that's going to give the Hillers the best chance to win, I think, if it's a game like that. Second and 10 for Holliston. Arvanitis back with Benson to his right. Looks like some confusion on the play. Hollison's going to call a timeout. Timeout. I think that's their third already, isn't timeout it? Hollison. Could be. For sure their second. Oh, yeah, I first. thought they had, they had one before that, before the their last one here. But, yeah, 72. And it looks like 72, uh, Elliot, they keep switching. I've seen them at left guard, and I've seen them at right guard. So I don't know if that goes more well, towards he's hard, strength. Well, he's hard to miss no matter where he is. Yeah, he's definitely a big kid. I want to see him fire off, though. The, the a big kid, and, and clearly. Jory's still out. On, on, Jory's still out if he can play or not, Jay. Si size goes a long way, but, you know, you, well, you, you can get places with just size. I'll tell you what he is. is smart because he's going to Harvard. <laughs> right. That's exactly. There's no debating all, that. That's all that counts. Play whistle Black's dead. Fly. Looks like illegal motion again on Holliston. That's three on them. Coach Kiley is not going to be happy about that. They had one, they had two false starts and one uh, illegal formation. So that that is uh, that's not like Holliston football. They usually don't make mistakes like this. So looks like both offenses are a little tight here in the first quarter. This is always a a big rivalry game. The kids get up for it. So maybe a little uh, first quarter nerves yeah, they affecting got both offenses. They have a nice crowd here. It's still falling in. There's a big line coming in here. It looks like the Holliston. Kids have the whiteout going on, so yep. um, second nice and fifteen now for Holliston as um, Arvanitis takes the shotgun, takes a takes the snap. It's a handoff for the big hole. Benson has the room. Benson cuts it back up field. That's a big gain. Looks like about sixteen Christian or seventeen Benson. yards. A big hole on the right side there, Don. Yeah, the There's pulling 17. guard did a nice job kicking uh, Scanlon out. Down. And uh, the, the guard got on to our scraping linebacker there, and he wasn't able to get out to, to the hole, and that was a, that was a nice run. And uh, Benson clearly has some speed. He, he got through that line pretty quick. He can get around the corner. Holliston set to, to, to go here. Everton back again with Benson. Receiver in motion. Ball is snapped. It is handed again to Benson, who gets Benson nowhere that time as Hopkinton, Hopkinton D-line. Looks like Scanlon again and 55 there. Is that Powers, Don? That Stuckel was 55. Stuckel a big play. Powers was in there too. That was uh, the, the, the defensive eight, line the really held their ground there and, and kind of stood – Stood uh, stood Holliston's offensive lineup, and there was really nowhere Sam to go. Now it's funny, Holliston doesn't really huddle. They kind of just do the standing around Zach thing, get the Alfie. call, and then they go right to the. Uh, It'll be second and eight for Holliston. Ibbotson again back in the shotgun with Benson to his left. Ball is snapped. It is handed to Benson, who makes a great cut there. Ibbotson. Taken down by her, Kieran Her looks like about maybe a Kieran eight or Herr nine yard tackle. gain. Well, this is the you know they seem to favor running this side here, trying to get around this end. So I don't know what they've seen or what they've scouted, but uh, you know they're pulling Kieran that guard, the they're kicking out our end, 
Um, uh, Scanlon did a little bit better job that time. Good job uh, of running by Benson there too, Don. He made the one cut, turned it up, turned it and, up, and got his six or seven yards. That'll make it third and looks like about four for Holliston here at their at the Hopkinton 45-yard line. Ibbotson takes the snap, he keeps it, rolls to his left with Elliott leading. He throws it down the field, complete. And he is, he is in for the touchdown. Good play action fake there by, by the Holliston QB. And throws an absolute rope down the left side of the field. I'm not sure who the receiver was on that play. Yeah, that was a um, that was excellent um, misdirection there. Um, right off the bat, kind of looked like a run. It was a nice play action. Quarterback rolled to his left, kind of threw back across his body. He had the big guy, 72, there out in front blocking yep. for him. And then he threw a, a really, really nice pass in stride to hit the uh, Hillston receiver to go up 6 nothing here. Austin set to kick the extra point. Here comes the snap. Ball is down, set. The kick is up, and it is good. That'll make it 7 0 Holliston here with about 3.52 left to go in the first quarter. Really a well designed play there, Don, by the Holliston offense. Well, they're going to come in here and they're going to have their, you know, couple plays that they feel very confident are going to work for them. So. Um, you know, that was, uh, was that third down or second down? That was there? third and four. That was third and four, right. So, you know, they had that play. They knew they ran, like I said, a little misdirection, and they, they executed it perfectly. Now what's going to be the key is how Hopkinton is going to respond. You know, I mean, uh, you can't go three and out here, Jay. You've got to put together a little bit of a drive. Keep your defense on off the field. Defense has been on the field the whole time. So we're going to need to get a first down. It would be nice to be start with a nice little return here, too. We'll see what kind of momentum the Hopkinton offense can, can get going here. Watch the onside kick so here. You know, the with these guys, you never know. Pass. They, like to, to they like to go for the jugular early. And um, if, they, if there's blood away. in the water, they will go after it. Halston does not onside kick. It's a low line drive kick taken by Hopkinton. Gets a seam. Looks like yeah. there's a flag on the play. Flag Might in the middle of the scrum. Probably an illegal block by Hopkinton. Zach Frank. Zach Frank with a nice return, return there. Return but it of looks like it might come back. Yeah, I th unfortunately, I think flag. it will. Holding. It's going against Hopkinton. Yeah, that's tough. You know, you've got to, your special teams are so important in, uh, in, in big games. And, you know, that was a nice return there. We would have the Holding ball the call. over past the 30-yard line. Now, we're, you know, the, the Hillers find themselves inside the inside the 20 here to start. So, so you know, let's get some positive yardage and, uh, and then take it from there. We'll throw out all the cliches we can here. <laughs> One play at a time. <laughs> yeah. First down for Hopkinton at their own 25. As we see, the hot, we see Ryan Kelleher here back in the shotgun. Looks like Matt Brown to his right. A bunch formation over here. Handoff is to Brown. Turns it upfield for really no gain at all as Matt the Holston defense down. swarms on him. Now that's kind of a new type of formation. I'm not sure if we've seen that yet. Yeah, three receivers on this side, and they, they ran their own little misdirection kind of play there and uh holliston kind of had it snuffed out we didn't get a lot of push off the offensive line that time and uh, that was a uh, no game that'll make it second and ten for hopkinson second and ten. they come to the line of scrimmage kelleher in the shotgun kelleher takes the snap rolls to his right Throwing deep down the field, looks like to DeLoya, but incomplete. Well Luke covered DeLoya, by Holliston. That, that, you know what, that, he, was, he was well covered, but he was, he, he was open. I mean, it was, you know, uh, that was a heck of a throw by Ryan. Um, Good throw on the out run. To the run. On the run. You know, Luke had it. It's hard to say if the Holliston guy got his hand in there. It's hard to see from this angle. But uh, that was a, that was a nice looking pass, and and that's kind of the idea that we need to do here is, is try and get downfield with with the balls through the air. K 
Kelleher back in the shotgun, set to take the snap, takes it, drops back. Throwing the ball downfield, and it is incomplete, intended for number 24. Matt Brown. One thing you're going to know uh, about Hollis's defense is that they're not going to let Kelleher just sit back there and, and, and you know hop around and throw the ball. They they had they, they had the blitz on there. It was third and ten. They're going to make Ryan make a quick decision and get rid of the ball quick. Good pass rush there by Holliston. Kelly back to punt. Gets off a much better punt this time. And he is stopped. Big Kimble hit there. About the 41. Big hit there no by uh, Saparocious. Look, look I'm like, like he blew out <laughs> Scanlon and the, the punt returner for Holliston. Was it Saparocious? I thought it was number 23. Looked like Scanlon had him wrapped up, and then someone just came in and blew them yeah, both out. Yeah, I think it was 23. I don't know if we – do we have Hopkins? Hopkins? Monster? Oh, yeah, here we go. Drew Nealon. Was Drew that Drew Nealon? Was that Drew? Possibly. Know. He was running off the field. I thought that looked like him. It looked like uh, number 23 did him. It was a big – it was a big stick. All right, well, anyway, here we go. Big we, we need to get off the field here, Jay. Holliston back. Ibbotson set to take the snap. He takes it, hands it to Benson, who goes Benson. up the middle for a big Got gain. He is brought down by Deloya after what looked like it would be about a 30-yard gain. Down, down to the Hopkinton 30-yard line. It looked like we had uh, Hopkinton had that bottled up there, uh, the defensive line. Did a nice job, but you know what? Hallson's right guard Hopkinton. and right tackle just had two nice little seam blocks. Yeah, uh, Elliott is really starting to set the tone here at the line of scrimmage, clearly. Yeah. And, and th this and this back Benson is fast. He's fast. Um, he, I think he might be the fastest kid on the field. And uh, he got through that hole, and once he got through that hole, he exploded. That'll make it first and ten for Hallson at the Hopkinton 36-yard line. Ibbotson back, takes the snap, hands it again to Benson. He is stopped at the line of scrimmage that time Short by Saparocious. Again, right and in line, big Scott Elliott. Yeah, I mean, Hopkinton is going to have to stay with what has worked for them the last few years, is getting 11 guys to the ball. You've got to become physical with this Holliston team. You cannot Don't let them set the tone and start running this war offense and just getting four or five yards at a clip. That'll make it second and about eight, looks like. A long eight for Holliston. Play action fake. Ibbotson back to throw. Throws it long down the field. Incomplete. That is incomplete. Well covered incomplete there by Matt Brown. Ryan, the intended receiver. Scan Scanlon almost got there and um, almost had the sack. The quarterback did a nice job. Feeling the pressure, got rid of the ball. Brown had him covered, uh, but it was still a nice enough throw that, you know, it was close, close to being completed. So this is a third and eight here, and um, we third and eight for Holliston. Big play here for the Hopkins defense, Don. You got to treat this like two down territory too. I mean, it's you got to figure. You got to get a negative play here. Don't let them get anything, any yards, because they'll go for it. If it's in back to throw, he has a receiver Balls open, incomplete. just incomplete. Send it for Bill Nash. And that'll make it fourth down for Holliston, and they got some. They got a decision to make here. This looks like possibly four down territory. Yeah, they're, they're going to go for this for sure. And that was uh, Hopkinton got very fortunate there because they just ran a little curl pattern. He was open. We were giving him soft coverage over there. Hamlet was, and uh, he was he was open, but it just kind of came off his hand funny, and it was an errant pass. So now we go fourth down. We'll make it fourth at about eight for Holliston. Ibbotson is back to take the snap with Benson to his right. Ibbotson back rolling to his right, being pursued by Hopkinson. He gets away, throws it gets down the away, field. It is 
Now incomplete. That is an incomplete pass, and Hollison will turn it over on downs. Good stop there by the Hopkins in defense. It's a big stop by the defense right there. They put nice pressure on. Um, I couldn't see that. You know, it was number 56 getting some nice pressure for Hopkinson. Had him roll out there, and uh, I think they completed it, but it was just, just out, of out of bounds. bounds. All right. Let's see if the uh, Hopkinton offense can figure out this uh, tough Holliston defense here, Don. Well, it's kind of, I'm going to kind of see what they're doing with Elliott here in the middle. He hasn't been a factor on defense. I've noticed him more on offense thus far. Kelleher back oh, to throw is pressured on the play and taken down. The pass does get off, but incomplete. That, was, that pressure got there quick. Holliston straight up the middle there Jack with the pressure. The yeah, Athey will throw, throw blitzes at him uh, from all angles. So, you know, a, a way to combat that is possibly, a, you know, put a screen in here, uh, maybe a type of draw or just a quick out, maybe a jet sweep. We're good with running the jet sweep. So something's going to have to uh, Second and ten. Well, counteract that blitz. Second and ten here for Hopkinton as Kelleher is lone in the shotgun. A bunch formation left. Nothing Looks like there. the ball is handed off to, I can't tell if that was Matt Brown or Zach Frank. Either way, it went Matt nowhere. Matt Brown with the ball carrier. Matt Brown looks like a loss of one on the play. Yeah, the Hall's defensive line um, and linebackers, their front seven just completely dominated that play. And uh, that, Matt, I think that was Matt that stop. had the ball, and he had absolutely no chance. He was lucky to hang on to it. Christopher O'Connell. That'll make it third and ten. For Hopkinton, as um, they are struggling here offensively in the first quarter, Don. He had some big-time pursuit there by Hollison, too, so maybe it's kind of a bootleg. That's going to be the end of the first quarter. That'll do it for quarter Holliston one here in Holliston. Hopkinton nothing. Okay. Well, I mean, hey, you know, I mean, uh, they've had a couple possessions. You know, this is our third possession now. Um, you know, we really just this coming out of the break here, third and ten. Is, uh, is a big play because it feels like our defense has been on the field the whole time. It definitely has that feel. Hawkinton looks like they are on their own 31-yard line. It's both teams getting hydrated on a chilly night here at Holliston. Well, I'm not even sure how chilly it is. I think it's just the chilliest night that we've had. I, I Correct. Think it's really, I think you, you talk summer's to, over. Talk, summer's over. I think you talked to us in November, and this is going to feel like summer. So this is just, this is just the first official kind of feel of fall. And that, that's okay. You know, the leaves are starting to turn. It's football season. It's dark at 630. Yeah, that's kind of depressing. You must only be able to get 36 in. Well, you know, Don, you got to make it work somehow. You <laughs> got to start tough, earlier. It's a tough life. You got to start earlier and dress warmer. That's all. So the Hillers are returning most of their offensive lines. So, you know, that they return most of their starters on the offensive side of the ball. So I would like to see them kind of use that experience here and oh. uh, get the offense going. Third and ten for Hopkinton. Kelleher back with Brown. He takes a snap, rolls to his right. Looking downfield, throws, incomplete, incomplete, intended for Deloya. Again, very well covered by Holliston. Yeah, Ryan, uh, Ryan kind of rolled out to his left, threw back across his body, but, he, you know, he threw the ball. The, the really, Luke was not really open. It was, it was well covered, and, and uh, you know, it's kind of fortunate. It was a little bit high, but I don't think that that would have been completed either way. It would have been picked if it wasn't. So that'll bring out Brendan Kelly to punt. And for the third time today. Ball was snapped. Again, another booming That's punt a great by punt. Kelly. That's a great punt. That's and a, a huge punt. And a huge punt. Hopkinton bounce. Oh, that is going to go great. all the way down to about the seven-yard line. What a great punt by Brandon Kelly. Now that's that's kind of play that Hopkinton needed. That is by far our most positive uh, development thus far. It's a 60-yard punt by Brendan Kelly. No punt. return. 62 yards with no return. 62. Panthers will take over. I guess that's why he's the TVL all-star punter, Don. Yeah, I mean, he's been very solid for the Hillers all three years here. Um, and that, and there was not a, you know, that's a huge spot and to do that right there. He completely changed field position. Now, you know, geez, it would be nice to get some sort of negative play or even a it's a type of fumble or a turnover down here. We need some so something, a little bit of a spark would be nice. 
7-0 Holliston here in the second quarter with 10.37 left to go in the first half. It's like Ibbotson under center this time. A new look. They're running the war, Don. It's a big carry, a nice gain. Dylan Ibbotson still going. It's like the quarterback kept it. Ibbotson took it out for what looks like a Holliston, a Holliston first down. First down. Yeah, Again, the, the, big, the big guard, Elliott, leading the way there. You've got to have, uh, you've got to hold your gaps uh, against this type of offense when they start running this. You've got to hold your gaps, Big and the Ryan linebackers Crowley are huge. Leading the way on that one. Um, you know, again, the linebackers can't over pursue. They've got to be uh, have have gap responsibility. Again, with the with the pitch, that time nowhere. Not sure who Ibbotson for Ibbotson took the ball. Or no game. It's a new look for Howlson with Ibbotson look like running the ball here now instead of. Uh, being the signal caller. Well, was he? Did he? Re, did he take the snap? Who took the snap? Not sure, but it looked like it was snapped and then pitched. Yeah. Not sure who's taking the snap. I don't know if it's Benson or someone else. Matt Tomaselli at quarterback. Matt Tomaselli. Okay. Is running the, the war. Looks like the the typical classic Holliston war look. Second and ten. Yeah, it's the offside. Flag on the play, and still a great play there by Brendan Kelly. That's unfortunate because they're going to get all on the offside. Brendan Kelly that time getting through for the for the tackle for a loss, but again, I think uh, illegal procedure by Holliston will will no. make that offsides Hopkinson. Oh, sorry, offsides on Hopkinson. It is against Hopkinson. We'll make it second and five for Holliston. It's a big play in this game, Don. Yeah, that would have been nice, you know. Brendan uh, did a nice second job there. Five. Yeah, That's too bad. Okay, second and five. Let's go. Second and five for Holliston. Spread out now. No longer in the war package. Looks like Ibbotson back in shotgun with Benson. Receiver in motion. Ibbotson takes the snap. Hands it to Benson with a big, oh, a play action fake. And he has a receiver wide open downfield. That's going to be another touchdown for Holliston on a great play fake. A great play fake by uh, Dylan Ibbotson. Well, yeah, he was, he was running downfield wide open. Um, I, I thought that they could have got in Holliston there on a, on an interference just by the fact that the other guy, the other receiver that was down there started blocking even while the, the pass was in the air. So they could have called that. They didn't. Uh, and I wouldn't expect them to here. Um, so Either way, a, a great a play fake. Play. Yeah, great I mean, play fake by the Holston offense. That's the second time they've done that for a long touchdown. 75 yards so we're over the pursuing and, uh, and getting burned deep. Holston set to kick the extra point. The snap is down, hold, Mulvaney's kick is up, and kick. good by Mulvaney. It's good. That'll make it 14-0 Holliston. 14-0 Holliston, 846 and a half. Well, okay, I mean, you know, it's, it, nothing has really gone well. I mean, our best play has been a punt. That means we've ha not had a good start here. So. Because he's had a lot of practice today, punting. Yeah, I mean, you know, now is, we're in a situation here that you've got to get some some first downs on offense. The defense needs to get a, a, a breather. Yeah. The offense needs a long, sustained drive here. They need to start making something happen. And that's just a scenario right there. I mean, that's how that's how close, you know, when you're playing a good team, the the the. Um, the, the, you just can't. You just can't. There's no. The there's no margin for error. You know, they could have had be, instead of being in third tonight. long after that play by that sack by Kelly or that that lo tackle for loss by Kelly. They had the offsides and then they have second and Mulvaney five. Then you got the play away. action pass and then you know good night. So instead of having third and long, you got 14 nothing. Holliston set to kick off and again Don always wary of the onside kick with Holliston. Yeah, like I said, they try and. They like to end things Kick early. Kick to the left, Matt taken Brown by Brown at the, 15, at the 15. Turns it up field, breaks a tackle, and punches it out to about the 36-yard line where a Hopkinson about will take a over. Yard run back for Matt Brown before he is stopped. 
Yeah, Matt fielded that. It kind of had a big hop. He fielded it and took it up, and now uh, there was a penalty-free play, so Hopkinton's got Hopkinson pretty good over. field position. First and now and let's 10. just try and mix it up here. You know, maybe do a couple dump passes. 36. I don't know. We. Call the Hillers the have to keep possession of this ball. Whether they score in his drive or not, it can't be a quick three and out again. It just can't. Got to put some first downs together. So here we go. First drive of the second quarter, I think, for Hopkinton. Maybe the second. Kelleher back with Brown. Kelleher set to take the snap with Deluke Deloya in motion. Kelleher back to throw. It's like a Bounces screen pass down. to Deloya. Breaks one tackle, takes it upfield for what looks like about a six-yard gain. Nice play there by the Hopkinton offense. Yeah, that was a, that was a very nice play. I mean, they kind of put Luke in, in motion, got the ball in his hands on kind of like that just little bubble screen there, and uh, Luke did a nice job. Positive yardage, six yards on first down. I'll take that. Looks like the uh, Hopkinton O-line on struggling a little bit with the speed of the ho of the Holliston front, front four. Well, they kind of they got a, they got you know speed and size. I mean, 72 is not even in there, and they look like they got size. 77 looks pretty big. They get second and five for Hopkinton. Kelleher hands to Brown, then keeps on the, the read middle. option for what looks like about a three-yard gain. That'll make it third and two. Stopped by Mulvaney. Uh, third and one, Dylan a long Edison. one. Yeah, this is a big, this is a big play. Gabriel here. Medeiros. It's a big play here. I mean, one of Hopkinton's most effective plays last week was the um, was the read option run by Ryan, who who can he was an effective runner. Um, you know, when he uh, when not he is blazing given a speed, chance. but but shifty. He's shifty. No, he's not. Doesn't have that breakaway speed, but he's got. You know, he he reads it well and he he runs effectively. Third and one for Hopkinton. Kelleher back to take the snap. Rolls to his right, a lot of pressure. Uh, throws yeah, incomplete. incomplete. Kelleher under a lot of pressure. Yeah. Really under a lot Dylan of pressure there. In there. Yeah, well that's a big, uh, that's a, that's an effective play normally for Hopkinton and, and you know, Holliston had that smelled out. I mean, I'm sure that they would have been ready for that. Ryan was pressured right off the bat, so they weren't expecting a run at all. And, uh, and he just wasn't able to get enough oomph on the ball. Lining Salyers made a nice effort, but he wasn't able to pull it in. Fourth and one. Hopkinton going for it in their own, in their own, at their own 44-yard line. Kelleher back, takes the pass, drops back to throw. He has Deloya for it looks like about a two-yard, three-yard game, which is enough for a first down. Good throw and catch there by Kelleher and Deloya. And, and, that's, and that's a big play right there. I mean, you got fourth and Four. one. You got to make this first down. What you so do is you, move, you go from one senior captain, 40. throw it to the other senior captain, and get your three yards. So that's a big play three. right there for the Hillers. So Sorry, first and ten for Hopkinson 40 at their own yard, 48. Kelleher back with Brown. Ball is snapped. Kelleher drops back. Time to throw. He has Kieran Ball Her. It looks like about a seven yard gain. Kieran. Her with the catch. Yeah, her just uh, kind of settled in there and made a nice little Kelleher's curl route. Um, Ryan kind of threw it uh, behind him a little bit, but Kieran adjusted to the ball, grabbed it, and uh, another good play on first down for the Hillers. Five-yard gain for Hopkinton. will make it a second and five. Hopkinton clearly committed to throwing the ball today. Kelleher back with Brown to his right. He hands it to Brown, actually keeps it. Ryan keeps it on the read option again, stretches that out. It looks like about a four-yard gain. Ryan Kelleher will be stopped just short. Three-yard gain. Yeah, I'm not sure if Ryan made the right decision there. I, I, Brown looked like he had some open space yeah. there. And, and sometimes, you know, you got to make that quick decision, and maybe he saw something that we can't see from this side. But, um, you know, Brown looked like he might third have had a little two. bit more room to run there. That'll make a third and two for the Hillers. Kelleher back again with Brown. Kelleher takes a snap. Holliston blitzing. Ball is incomplete. Looks like a safety blitz or a corner blitz there done by Holliston. They had two or three guys Forced blitzing. Ryan to throw it a little early. And her, the intended receiver. her was unable to, to, um, unable to make that catch on a ball that was a little wide. Yeah, that was a tough. That was a th Ryan was rushed. There was a little inaccurate throw there. It wasn't. It really wasn't catchable. But I'll tell you, Jay, that's one thing you got to follow away here. Every third down and passing situation, they're blitzing. 
Yeah. So you Holliston pinning the ears back coming. That. So fourth and two here at the Holliston 46. Kelleher back. Holliston. Ah. Flag. Flag on the play. It looks like maybe Hopkinton was a little anxious there, and False that'll be a legal procedure. False start against Hopkinton. That's a killer, Don. Oh, that's looks, too bad. Now it looks like they're going to punt. Looks like they're going to punt that'll here. That'll make it fourth and seven. Oh, man. Yeah, can't have penalties. Can't have penalties. They're killers. So with 5.41 left to go in the Running first half, Brendan now, Kelly out to seven. punt. Need another big one here, Brendan. Brendan back to punt. Gets off a low liner, but with I good. I like it. Get the ball. Oh, that ball's dropped by the Holliston punter, but then picked up. A nice tackle there. Cole Salyer is number three with a nice uh, open Mitchell field tackle. Gimlet's played by the sophomore. Cole Salyards. Boy, that was that was close there, Jay. I thought. Uh, yep. That was a nice. First of all, that was a nice punt. The Halston uh, punt returner would have, I thought, done a better. He would have been better served letting that thing go, and just shooting it in the end zone, taking it on the twenty instead of trying to catch it like that. Yep. So he was really punt, and a half punt to mishandled, go. but then recovered. First and ten, Panthers out the fifteen. Halston will take over at their own fifteen yard line. With 5.28 left to go in the first half, Hopkins' defense needs to make another stop. Ball is pitched to the right for a very short gain. Dylan Ibbotson has a short gain. Looks like Dylan Ibbotson is a big part of this Holliston offense, Don, whether it's at under center or whether he's getting the pitch in that war look. Yeah, well, he can run the ball, so... Um you know, I would be getting the ball in his hands, and I guess you want to give 21 a little bit of a break It'll be a gain of about two, every once eight. in a while. But it looks like, you know, Holliston's kind of con content here Five to, to, go the to let the, the clock churn away and, and, and not have any negative uh, negative plays. Now, this is a this is a, an important down here. Second down, uh, you can stop him for no gain. That would put him in third down and get the ball back. Second and eight here for Holliston. Ball is handed off. No. Actually kept by the quarterback who was being being pursued by the Hopkins defense complete. and just simply flings it out of bounds for no gain. Excellent job by the Hillers there. I Good mean, they, pursuit by the Hiller defense. It was a uh, like Luke Deloy and Brendan Kelly both. Yeah, that was, that. A, that was an excellent fake too. So we, they, I was fooled there for a second too, but he kept it. And, They've been faking uh, me out all night, though. <laughs> well, we're not at the best angle here. We are kind of low. It's hard to. We're not normally, we're a little bit higher normally to be able to watch the game, so it's, it's a little bit harder to watch from our angle. It'll make a third and eight for Holliston. Big play here for the Hopkinton defense. Ball is another play the fake. Throws back this way. The Did not fool Deloya at all, who was right on top of that. He blew the whistle, blew the whistle. Forward Deloya. progress was stopped. Looks like Deloya Stopping and Kelly in on that tackle, but great play there by Luke Deloya. Yeah, that was a that was a really nice play. Luke was all over that. That looked like they were trying to set up some sort of some sort of screen, and uh, and that wasn't going anywhere. In fact, they were lucky that Deloya didn't pick that off. Okay, so the you know, all right, no harm, no foul. Um, got the got the ball back here with four minutes, and, and you know. It, the, this game is long from, from being decided, and it'll go a long way if Hopkinton can put a score up here on his drive. Allison set the punt with Deloya back at about the 50 to receive for Hopkinton. Hopkinton gets off a pretty nice punt. Looks like Deloya going to let it drop. Takes a pretty neutral bounce. Looks like ball's going to end up at about down. the Hopkinton 45, 46-yard line. Yeah, no, no return right there, but it wasn't a great punt. So, I mean, the Hillers have uh, have very good field position now. And now, uh, you know, a, a score here is big, and I don't know if you go for it right off the bat. The Hillers have struggled on third and long here. I mean, the, the, the Hopkins or Holliston is blitzing every time. Haven't had really even coming close to completing a long and third third and long. So, got to get some chunks of yard early, yardage Boston early here. Would like to and uh, the try and get inside the scoring zone at least because we haven't even had a chance at the end zone yet. Who has provided hours of painting projects in and around committee and field. Thank you. Tim. So, here we go with 327 left first in the first half. half. Hopkinson takes over at their 46 yard line. 
Kelleher back in shotgun with Matt Brown to his left. Luke DeLoya in motion. Kelleher takes it, drops back, looking to throw. Bounces he has Kieran Hur there who breaks a tackle. Takes it up for about, Kieran looks like about Hur a nine yard gain. Good, good play by that senior, good play by the senior Kieran Hur there. Made a nice, Looks Kieran like made a nice catch there. Made a nice little move. He had a nice block out here also. So, Second again, that's one. that's positive first down yardage. So now you're sitting here at, uh, you're sitting here at second and, um, yeah, second and one. Do you take a shot at the end zone here? No. I give it to second Matt. Second and one? I give it to Matt Brown and, like, pound it. I think the Hopkinton offensive line here needs to make a statement, Don, that they can, that they can play with this team and run the ball a little bit. But, of course, you're right. Kelleher back to throw, to throw. with a great throw to, to Kieran Her, With a big hit there by a and secondary, jars it loose. That's incomplete as uh, Kieran Her gets up a little, Kieran little gingerly. No, that was that was a nice that was a nice clean hit. I'll tell you, Jay, the way football is played anymore, you you normally you normally see a flag following a hit like that, but nice and clean, shoulder pad to shoulder pad, um, jarred the ball loose. You know, Kieran. Had it for a second, but, you know, you can't fault him at all because that was a heck of a hit that kid laid on him. That was Dylan Ibbotson, the QB, Don, laying the, laying the wood there. Okay. Another trademark of Holliston is that their, um, their, their, their best athletes are in position to make plays on both sides of the ball. Is the quarterback over there? He is. Okay. Third and one. Third and one for Hopkinson. Kelleher back with Brown. Kelleher keeps, and he's going to be short. He's going to be stopped short. It's like a loss of one on the play. We'll make it fourth and two so for Hopkinson. Now, Holliston has that, that, that read option covered pretty well, so Scott if the Hillers are going to run the, the ball, um, they're going to have to come in with a, some sort of different formation because that's not Will working. Again as well. I think Ryan's not Came reading out. it uh, properly. They're, they're, you know, they're doing something that are defended well. Um, and now we're now the Hillers are in a fourth and two situation. You know, I don't know. I mean, you, you got to kind of think the opponent here, Jay, and just play it safe and play the field position. Or no. you don't want to give it back to them with uh, 240 left in midfield. Aggressive here. Aggressive aggressive football here by Hawkinson going for it on fourth and two. Kelleher back. He throws Ball incomplete. Not sure what that play was, but it was looked Luke like intended DeLoya for Luke DeLoya. No, I think it was it was intended for Kelly. Uh, Kelly. Um, I don't I don't know. Again, it didn't. It wasn't close to being completed. Looked like Luke kind of broke open there at the end. I don't know if it was if it was supposed to be intended to him or not. But anyway, it was uh, it was it was it was not completed, and now the Hillers are find themselves having to defend Holliston here and trying to uh, uh, stay in this game. Yeah, this this here, you can't let them get another score here before half. So Hockenden turns it over on downs, and Holliston will take over. Looks like another different look for Holliston. This is number six at quarterback. Ball snapped. I think it's handed off there. For a short Tristan gain Benson. by Benson, maybe a two-yard gain on the play. Forward progress ahead for about. Yeah, defensive line did a nice job there, and then Zach Four. Levy came in and, uh, and six. made a nice tackle. A long six. See uh, a nice, a four-yard gain there. It looked like it was much less than that, but forward progress up to midfield will make it second and six for Holliston with two minutes and seven seconds left to go here. Olsen snaps the ball in a big hole Benson's for Benson. Down the sideline and stop. He takes it down. Matt Brown with the saving He takes tackle. it down to what looks like it would be about the 12-yard line. Another big hole in that right side. Holliston's um, offensive line around. doing a nice job on that right side there. That right tackle, right guard again through some nice blocks. And doesn't take much to spring number 21. And once he's through, he's quick. And uh, Matt Brown was uh, just lucky enough to, to, to kind of just grab him from behind and throw him down. 
It'll be a first down for Holliston at the, about the 19-yard line after a 37-yard gain by the running back, Benson. Holliston set to take the snap. Ball is handed to number 21, Benson, again, that time for a shorter gain. No, that was number 22. 22, sorry. Gain of about four, we'll call it second and six. One yeah, they brought, the um, they took 21 out, put Ibbert's in it, running back, and now they got this, uh, this, this junior, number six, at quarterback. Make it second and six for Holliston. Another big gain there. Ibbotson has some running room. By Ibbotson. That'll make it first and goal. Holliston first down. Make it first and goal for Holliston with a minute left here in the half. Uh, somebody's got to make a play here. First and goal. Get off your block. First and goal at the five. Look for some more power running behind Big 72. He is stuffed. That looked like Benson, maybe. Tristan Benson. Yeah, you've got to be cognizant up here of the, the play action because that's been their most effective Tyler play. I mean, they've thrown it for a bomb twice, but, um, it, you know, just kind of they're feeding off of this ground game that they have. Holliston yeah. calls a timeout with 46 seconds left. Five. With second down and goal from the five-yard line. Got to dig deep here, Jay. You can't let him in. Looks like the band's getting ready to go out for halftime. It would appear so. Is the doghouse close? Oh, no, they have the doghouse over here now. They do. Yeah. This is a nice field. They don't pay much attention to the uh, visitor stands, though. But other than that, it's uh, they do a nice job over here on the field. Always a good crowd here. It's a good football town. Yeah. Holliston, love, they love their football team, and it shows. Okay, here we go with 46 seconds left. It is second and goal from the five-yard line for Holliston. Holliston set to take the snap. Handoff. Play action fake. And Ivanitis, number six, rolls to his left and takes it in for the touchdown. That'll make it 20 nothing Holliston here. With about 37 seconds left in the half. Again, the play faked on. Tough yeah. to defend. Yeah, their success comes off of the play fake here. That's the third, tu third, third touchdown off of the play fake. This time they held on, the, the quarterback held on to the ball. He also apparently has speed, Jay, because he got around the corner. Ivan Nitus. Yeah. Ball Vaney's kick. Extra point attempt by Mulvaney Ooh. is good. Good again. That'll make it 21 nothing here, Holliston. Hopkinton having a hard time scoring points, uh, Don, these last couple weeks. Yeah, which is unusual because um, last year, uh, last year, you know, the offense was, uh, you know, really the strength, I mean, not the strength because their defense was so good too, but they, they scored a lot of points last year. They averaged, for the most part, you know, over 35, 40 points a game. They struggled last week against a good physical Ashland team um, offensively, and uh, and now, um, you know, being shut out here in the first half and not really having many opportunities. I mean, have they been well, inside the 20 yard line? From the Holliston police, I don't believe so. The announcement on a car, it's in the fire lane. A black Honda Civic. Holliston set to kick H off. H -N or I would imagine the Hall uh, Hopkinton will take the told. kick, take it to halftime and try and figure some things out, Don. Well, they get the ball back in the second half uh, to start it. So you can, all, you, know, you can get started in a positive way, you know, getting the ball back and hopefully you can put together a score there. Low line drive kick to Brown. At the 15. Matt Takes Brown. it up to about the 21 yard line, 20 yard line where he is stopped. Return of about 15. 
No, I mean, I don't know. You're down 21 nothing. You're not just, I wouldn't take Timothy a knee. I'll try and throw it deep, stop. whoever your couple two fastest guys are, and see if we get interference or something. You know, it, it doesn't feel like Holliston is so much better than Hopkinton. It's just they've just been running things a little bit more efficiently. Execution. Execution. Kelleher back to throw. Passes throws incomplete. behind. Throws behind Kelly, I believe. Brian Kelleher's pass falls incomplete. It'll be second and ten. Yeah, Ryan was Brendan a little off Kelly the mark, the uh, off the mark receiver. there. Um, and again, I don't know if, if he's not, if the receivers are getting thrown off the routes or or what the story is. But uh, you know, the passing game, they are trying to pass more this week than they second did last week. But it still does not seem to be in sync in how we are normally are seeing it. That'll make it second and ten for Hopkinton. Kelleher back pitches to Brown. Pitch the other way. Running to his left. Looks like about Matt a gain Brown. of about four yards. The clock continues to tick, and I think that will probably do Gain it for the, the first half. Yeah, Hollis is playing a two-deep zone four. type of deal there, and uh, yeah, it looks like clock he's going to run it out. Down. That is the end of the first half. That'll do it for the first half here at Hollis and High School, where Hollis takes a 21-0 lead into halftime. We'll be back in a few. Help your community to collect food for the project just because Hopkinton Food Pantry the scouting for food drive. Place food items for donation in plastic bags near your mailbox by 10 a.m. on Saturday. Some items the food pantry is in most need of include gift cards, canned meats, gluten-free foods, baking items, paper and cleaning products, and toiletries. If you wish to donate but don't have enough time to shop, you can donate online. Thank you for helping our local residents in need. Okay, Don, it looks like we are ready to kick off the second half here. Holliston stretching out on the sideline. Hawkinson over on the other sideline getting ready to receive the, the kick. The clock has been set to 11 minutes. The third quarter is, a, is ready to go here and get ready to play some more football. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're, you're starting the second half here, 21 nothing. Holliston scored uh, two long touchdowns on play action passes, and then they scored the third one on a really just a kind of a a, a play action, and the and quarterback kept the it the to, to go up three uh, three touchdowns to nothing Panthers here. Um, I, I you know, we haven't felt receive. like we're getting blown out, but Holliston is making the plays when they need to. Hopkinton's had a couple pen penalties that have hurt them. And, uh, you know, they haven't offensively been able to to put anything together. And defensively, they, they gave up two big plays. So here we go. Ball is kicked off, taken by Brown. Matt Brown has it. Up to about the, Returns looks like, 27, 28-yard line. Matt Brown fielded that. That kind of settled in right at his feet. Yeah. Um, looked like it might be a problem, but he did a nice job grabbing it and bringing it up and Gathered Make himself and got about 10, 15 out of it. Positive yards out of it. This is a big drive here, Jay. I mean, I, I, I think that sometimes I'll say, oh, this is a big play, big drive. But, you know, you're down 21 nothing. You just came out of the locker room. It's Well, let's see what these kids have here, if they, they really want to win this game or not. This is a, uh, a half of football that may define your season. Win or lose. Now, it's going to be kind of tough, you know. I mean, this if they lose this game, they're not going to win the TVL. Uh, I think they'll be uh, pretty much eliminated from that. First and 10, Hopkinson. Kelleher takes a snap, rolls to his right. Kelleher throws complete to complete. Deloya. Nice pick up there. Looks like a first down. Deloya. That's a good start. That's a nice, safe play. Uh, throwing it to your best receiver, uh, and Luke taking the, the physical way out there by lowering his shoulder and getting another positive yards and getting a first down. So that's a nice start for the for this drive. Yeah, Luke Deloya is deceivingly uh, bigger than you may uh, think until you, until you stand next to him. He's a pretty solid kid. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's a, he's a very good athlete. First down. Takes after his mother completely. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kelleher back again, first and 10 at the 40. Kelleher fakes the handoff to Brown, throws over the middle to Deloya again. And Luke Deloya 
Again, again, lowers the shoulder and gets another four out of that for another Hopkins in first down. And this is the kind of thing that you need to do. You have to have some physicality to this game. This is a physical Another game. You've got to lower your shoulder. Down. You've got to hit. That's how. And then you kind of feed off of that, and you get momentum. And those are two excellent uh, first down plays for pickups for for Hopkinton. Okay, that'll be first and ten from for Hopkinton at the Holliston 46 yard line. 47-yard line. Kelleher back with Brown to his right. Kelleher takes a snap, drops back. Looking downfield, now rolling to his right. Looks like he's just going to keep this. Breaks a Kelleher tackle, takes it down the sideline for a big gain. Be another Hopkinton first down. Brian Kelleher with a good stiff arm there, Dom. Gets around the corner on the right side and picks up, looks like, about 20 yards. Yeah, not, you know, passing out a first down, what that does is that takes the blitz out of it right that there. So he had all time to sta stand back there. He had Brown as his personal protector. Halston he had nothing to do. There was nobody out. coming. Halston did a nice job covering. Roll Ryan kind of rolled out and then just tucked it and ran. Did the right thing, didn't try to force it. And, uh, you know, got 20 yards out of that at least. Yeah. So excellent start here for the Hillers. First and 10 for Hopkinton at the Halston 23-yard line. Looks like there's a timeout. Not sure if it was by Hopkinton or by Holliston. There was a timeout on the field. Yeah, my guess would be Holliston took the timeout. Um, that's not the way they want to start. And, and, you know, they know that Hopkinton's a good football team here, and they certainly don't want to let them into, the, into this game. And I... I can tell you, Coach Kiley and, and Coach uh, Athey know that down. this game is far from being over. First and 10, Hopkinton, as they break the huddle. Kelleher back with Brown to his left. Kelleher takes a snap, rolls to his left, throws to complete to Deloya, oh, breaks a tackle. Touchdown. Luke Deloya is going to take it touchdown. in for the touchdown and a very impressive first drive here for Hopkinton to start this second half, though. Well, you know, I, I think that they made a conscious Luke effort DeLoy, to say, hey, let's let's DeLoy get the ball in Deloya's hands. He's our best receiver. Um, you know, it wasn't really any fancy plays there. It was just kind of like outs, the and they got him the ball. And Hopkins Luke did a nice board, job catching it and running it. Shook off a, a, a tackle there very easily. And here we go. We're right in here to the 21-7. Excellent start for the Hillers. A lot of Kelleher and Deloya on that drive. Rob Pagliuca in to try the extra point. Again, Kelleher hooking up with Deloya for another Hiller touchdown. Kick is up. Kick, is, kick good. is good. The senior so kicker, Hopkins Robbie wins. Pagliuca. Robbie's Not been very good. reliable for the Hillers. I think this is his third year kicking, at least a second for Definitely sure. Definitely a second. Yeah. Um, so they've, uh, they've done a... Uh, an excellent job with their, their kicking game over the years, uh, Coach Gerard has. But let's just go back to that drive, Jay. I mean, uh, there was no runs. Was just, a, just a Kelleher keeper. Kelleher that was keeper. really a run off a pass. Yep, that was a scramble. And uh, and they kind of went right down there. Deloya had three catches for, I would say, probably about 50 yards. And um, that's just an excellent start. Let's see if the defense can feed off of that and uh, and get a three and out here for the, for the Hillers. Kelly set to kick it off for Hopkinton. Brendan Looks Kelly like Hopkinton came away. out of the half and caught Holliston a little flat-footed on defense, Don. Well, that, 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 that's excellent. It's good to see the kids responding at halftime. I would like to think that Gerard had some a few choice words for them. Kelly set to kick. Kicks it straight down the middle of the field. Good taken one, by it. number 12. Breaks one tackle. And then is swarmed on by a return of about looks 10. like 22 there and 23, 27, so, oh, 23, 22 yeah. and 23. Drew Nealon making another play. Drew Nealon with another special teams tackle. Good to see Ryan him back and healthy. I think Drew missed a few games with an injury, didn't he? Yeah, he's been out a good portion of the year, and he is uh, he's a receiver. I don't I don't think he gets any playing time on the receiving side, um, but he. Uh, that, that's his, that's his second second play on special team, so that's excellent. A little big at first and 10 for Holliston at their own 25. Holliston set to take the snap. 
ball is handed off and to what looks like Benson. Benson. He is stopped for Tristan little Benson. little or no gain there. Well, actually, about a three-yard gain. Short gain. Yeah, uh, you know, the, the Hopkins ben seems to have raised their the game stop. here. You know, I don't know if they were a little intimidated coming out here in the first half, but they got their feet under them here, and now they're really kind of being physical. The lawyer came to play the second half, I can tell you that Ooh, much. Second and seven. I just watched him there. He just crushed some kid coming up and trying to block him. So he's trying to he's trying to become physical, and everybody's just got to kind of feed off of that here. Don, the kid that I do not see is uh, number 72, Elliott, on the field for Holliston. Not sure why he's not playing on the line right now. Hand off again to Benson and no play, play fake. Again. Oh, Deloya oh, breaks up that pass as an open receiver, but Deloya closed. Got his hand across his chest and just stripped that ball out of his hands before he could secure it. Yeah, he got behind He got behind Luke there, uh, but Luke did a nice job recovering Third and then and made a play on the ball. I mean, it got into the Halston receiver's hands, but Deloya did a nice job smacking it out of there. And now it puts Halston in long third down. Another good play fake by the Halston uh, offense. Yeah, it's working on you, I can tell you that much. Absolutely. I buy it every time, that fake. <laughs> it's getting late, too. I know. These Fridays, these Fridays are long, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Halston again, third and long, third and seven from their own 28. Ball snapped. Drops straight back. That ball is caught. Tackled. Steps out of receiver out of bounds. That looks like the Hopkinson 39. Big third down conversion by Holliston. That was an excellent pass by them, and the receiver rate ran a nice route. Uh, Hamlet uh, did not play that very well there. Um, he, he didn't read the break off the receiver, and then he, he missed the tackle. Um, and then the receiver made another guy miss, and that was a nice game. That was Hollison's best play of the half thus far. So after the long gain on third down, it'll be first and 10 for Hollison at the Hopkinson 39-yard line. Receiver in motion for Hollison. It looks like someone jumped on the line there for Holliston. Because you're a big guy. It's about your buddy there, 72. Rare for an Ivy Leaguer to jump off sides, but it happens. Panthers. That'll make it first, first and 15. And 15 now at the 44. You know, Holliston, is, they're not going to take their foot off the gas. They're going to continue to try and rack up points here. And, and they know they've got to match Hopkinton's um, you know, physical play here. First and 15 for Holliston. QB takes a snap, hands it to Benson with another Benson. quick burst. He is a strong Good running back. He takes it straight up the middle for about a 12-yard gain. Benson. I'll make it second and short for Holliston. Yeah, I'll tell you, they're having a lot of success um, go, you know, running over that right side. Um, the, 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 the guard we know about, 72, but the tackle's doing a nice job, too. And uh, the 21's just reading the hole, getting through it, and he's got that burst to, to get you know positive yardage every time. Second and three for Holliston at the Hopkins 33-yard line. Ibbotson back in the shotgun with Benson. Ibbotson takes a snap. He hands it to Benson, who is stuffed by Matt Brown. Benson, Great play by Matt. Oh, sorry. Uh, yep. That was Drew Saparosius coming in from the right side there. Saparosius. Which is really what Drew you got to do. You got to start run blitzing a little bit. You know, you can't let them settle in here and start running the ball and taking time off the clock. Uh, Saparosius just kind of came yard. from his inside linebacker spot there. And did a nice job. And you got to figure they're going to be two down territory here. So another negative play would go a long way. Turnover would go even longer. <clears throat> It'll like, be third and about four. After the one-year tackle for loss by Saparosius. Third and four for Holliston. The Hopkins at 33-yard line. Ibbotson back in the shotgun with Benson. Ball is handed and faked, and Ibbotson keeps it. Has a receiver downfield open, and that is caught for the touchdown. Nice play there by the Holliston quarterback rolling to his left. 
That's the same play they scored on that first touchdown. Yep. That was the exact same play. Dropping it right in there. <clears throat> play action pass, rolling left. Uh, the Wasn't terrible coverage by Hopkinson, but he just made a great throw. Yeah, he got behind our defense there a little bit, but it was a – it was a nice. It was a nice throw. He hit him in stride, right in his bread basket. Uh, easy touchdown. So the momentum that Hopkinson gained coming out of the half quickly taken away by the Holliston Mulvaney offense. Good. Mulvaney set to kick the extra point. Kick is up it and it's good. Good again. That's unfortunate. That was the third down play there. And well, again, that's where they've had their success off the play lead. action. Two big third down conversions the there by Holliston in that drive. Yeah, that's that that that's really too bad right there. So now you just, you know, I don't know. I mean, you still got some football to play. You're in the same situation that you were coming out of the half, down three touchdowns. Um, only you've got, you know, the uh, half the quarter yards. gone. So you got to restart it. Let's try and keep that, um, you know, that physical play going. Need a couple big plays Ryan, offensively. A quick score would certainly be helpful. Of the evening of that combination. So 28-7, Holliston with 6.51 left to go in the third quarter. Like Matt Brown and Luke Deloy in the back there set to receive the kick. Number four, Mulvaney set to kick Mulvaney's it off for Holliston. Good. Nice kick out to about the 15, Brown taken by it. Brown. Makes a cut, takes That's it upfield. Nice running by Matt Brown, a nice return. To out to about the 43, 44 yard line. Looks yeah, like, looked like Deloy got shaken up a bit on that play. Yeah, he was trying to throw a block. Uh, Matt, Matt did a nice job fielding that, kind of took it up, had some nice blocks, one of them by Deloy, the and uh, made some pot of positive yards. So, yeah, you know, he got the ball to the 40-yard line, 42-yard line. Quick score puts us, uh, puts us right back in it here, Jay. There's no time to be grinding things out here, though. Let's put it in the air. Let's uh, try and get some chunk plays. Kelleher back in the shotgun with Brown to his left. First and 10, Hopkinson at the 43-yard line, their own 43-yard line. Kelleher takes the snap. He hands it, fakes it to Brown, goes again DeLoya to DeLoya, who really, really keeps, keeps the knees eight. pumping and gets out to a, looks like about just past midfield. That'll make it second and two. Kevin Lyons. Luke, Luke is, uh, is, is playing as inspired as I've seen him play uh, this year, coming out of the second half. This is it's a like, very strong couple drives for like him. Luke took that first half personally, and he is uh, out to Sorry, to do what he can here. Good, good. I mean, they should. You got to take things personally when you're down 21 nothing. Second and second and two for Hopkinson. Kelleher takes a snap, rolls to his right. He throws complete that to Kelly. Point. That'll be en that'll be enough for a Hopkinson first down Brendan pickup of about five. Receiver. Yeah, it looks like Ryan's got his feet under him here. He looks a lot more confident in the pocket this half. Um, that, he, he throws on the run very well. Kelly made a, run, a nice pattern there, and it was an easy first down pickup. Told Brendan Kelly headed to Stonehill College next year to play baseball, Don. Yes, yep, baseball player. Hard throwing right hand. First and 10, Hopkinson at the Holliston 44 yard line. Kelleher back with Brown to his left. Kelleher takes the snap. He throws over the middle. Oh, that is incomplete. Luke. Attended for Luke DeLoya. Luke DeLoya attended. Holliston with, with another receiver. blitz there, Don. Yeah. The it, pressure on, on uh, Kelleher. Yeah, and they're, and they're jumping. They're jumping the snap here. Um, I, think, I think Hopkinton has got to go on two or mix up their snap count because the blitzing, they're timing it perfectly, making it that Seven much again. harder to complete a pass um, and get a playoff if, you know, if the blitzers are – or know your, know your snap counts. So you got to go on two here. Second and ten for Hopkinton. The Holliston 44-yard line. Kelleher back with with looks like Sapper. Is that Saperosius or Brown that was right? Yeah, probably Brown, but it's like Brown. I'm not sure. Kelleher takes the snap, drops back, throws Passes the slant. Complete. Quick slant to it looks like Luke. To Loya, it is. Nah. Looks, looks like he was stopped just short of the first. No, that was Salyers. That was Salyers. 
Nice catch by the by the sophomore. Gain of about eight, third and two. Third and two here. It's like a short two. Yeah, now for you, you may want to run the ball here. I mean, you know, you can't be. Got to get this first down. I can tell you that much. At 72 in there, I would think about running away from him. Maybe run wide. Kelleher back with Brown to his right, third and about one and a half. Kelleher rolls to his right, throwing deep, just it. over the outstretched arms of Luke DeLoya. Luke well covered DeLoya. by Holliston. Almost a great catch by DeLoya. Matthew Tomaselli with good yeah, coverage. Yeah, he was open. It, it, it was good coverage, but it, um, you know, it would have taken a perfect pass to, to complete that. That just sailed a little bit on Ryan, but that was a difficult uh, difficult play to complete. So this is here we go right here, fourth and two. I don't know. Fourth and two. I can't say it's a game here midway through the third quarter, but it's a pretty important part here. you gotta, you got to make well, if this. Well, if you are going to make a comeback, you got to convert these. Yeah. Hopkinson breaks two. the huddle. Kelleher back with with looks like Brown to his left. No, that is Saporosius. Actually, Saporosius to his left. Kelleher drops back to throw. A lot of pressure. He got it. Ball is ruled incomplete. Oh, Ball gosh. is incomplete Jeez. as Kelleher limps off the field. Holds. Took well, a big hit there. Nah, you know what? I mean, you know, they blitzed right away which you know they would on, th on third and fourth down there. Um, Kelleher did a nice job throwing to the blitz, you know, the, the spot vacated by the blitzing linebacker, but it looked like they just got to him too quick. He wasn't able to uh, throw it accurately enough to complete the pass and, uh, and his first down turnover on downs. Hopkinton turns it over on downs, and Holliston will take over at their own 36-yard line. 28-7 to here with 422 left in the third. All right, the ball is marked on the 36, first and 10 Panthers. And here we go, Don Hopkins in defense again on, in the position where they need a stop. A quick you almost stop. Need a, yeah, you need a quick stop. You need a turnover. They're back Hol in the war formation. Holston here. in their war package. The pitch is to the right. Looks like a pickup of about one or two. Hopkinton has done well uh, defending this formation tonight. Um, you know, the, the most success that Holliston has had has been out of the, uh, play, the play fake. Play fake and just out of a standard, standard, um, standard form uh, for. Uh, <laughs> also, with a big personnel change here, it looks like they're going to go away from this war package and go back to the traditional offense. They, no. give, you, they give you a couple different looks, though. Oh, yeah. Be second and eight for Holliston. 3.38 to go in the third quarter. Davidson takes it, hands it off to Benson, who breaks a tackle. And he is brought down by Luke DeLoy after a pretty big gain. It'll result in a Holliston first down, right about to midfield. Again, a, a good run by Benson, broke that first tackle and then turned it upfield for about eight yards after the after the contact. Yeah, he, he not only is fast, but he's a hard runner. You know, he's not going to go down on that first that first hit. And he had a nice little stiff arm there and ended up getting the first down. And now they're back on the move. And first gotta, and 10, Holliston. You got to make midfield. a stop or this is going to get ugly quick. Three minutes to go in the third. Looks like a Holliston timeout. Coach Kylie going to call a timeout here. Timeout, Holliston. Just under three to go in the third. Yeah, I mean, you know, this is this could be the type of drive that, that really puts a game away. If Holliston can can string together some plays and get in the end zone, uh, you know, that 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 could be a hole that's insurmountable for the Hillers. So, uh, you know, from the Hopkinton standpoint, there's got to be some, some desperation in that huddle over there um, as far as somebody making a play. And Holliston, you got to just figure that, you know, they're, 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 they're going to try and establish something and then play off of that. And, and I, would, I would expect them to run that, uh, run that play action at some point. One thing is they've always done a good job here. They always get the youth players involved. 
ever since from like way a, back. They've an always come, come an in with the An assortment of youth players bringing out the water to the Halston huddle. Yeah, funny. Halston breaks the timeout. It'll be first and ten at midfield. First down. Halston takes the snap. The handoff is to Benson. And he is Benson, swarmed upon doing. by the left side of the Hopkinson line. Big Lucas Moynihan. Looks like Moynihan in on the stop there, Don. Yeah, Moynihan had nice, nice, um, nice pressure there. He got through the gap Losses about and uh, made a nice negative play there on first Ball down. Second and 13 at the 47. The hall, you know, Hopkinton got some kids there with their hands on their on their hips. You can't have that. It's too early for that. It'll make it second and 13 after the loss for Holliston. Ball is snapped. Play action. Play action fake, and he is that is going nowhere, and the quarterback well, smartly unloads. I was going to say, that's, that's uh, there yeah, there you go. That's Looks like a flag on the play. He was in the tackle box, Don. I, mean, I don't think so. Grounding. Yeah, yeah, yes, he wasn't. That was an intentional grounding for sure. That's going to be a loss of down, which should make it third and very long for Holliston, although third and very long hasn't been a problem for them tonight. No, no, but it looked like the Hillers were a little bit more prepared there for the uh, play action. They had good pressure, and they read it very well, and there was nobody covered. There, there was nobody open downfield. Referees uh, consulting with Holliston head coach Kylie. Well, Coach Kylie's saying he was out of the tackle box, and the guys are saying, no, he was still in the tackle box, Coach, and uh, let's let's go. The Yankees' Red Sox are on, so let's go to them. <laughs> <laughs> Five nothing Red Sox. So, okay, we got third and 26. So now, third I would be extremely 26. surprised if Holliston would put themselves in a situation where they could have, uh, you know, a turnover here um, or do something stupid with the ball. I expect them to play kind of conservative here, just kick it back and then let their defense do some work. It'll be third and 26 for Holliston at their own 34. Could even see a, a pooch punt here with nobody uh, back there for Hopkinton, maybe try and change the field position. Davidson back to take the snap. Drop straight back, looking to throw, and he's going to heave it downfield. Ball is incomplete. Why not, Don? Why not throw it down the field? Yeah, I, I mean, sure. I mean, at, at that position, that that would have been just as good as a punt, throwing a bomb ball, down there. Uh, Hamlet the had excellent coverage, and uh, good coverage by Tommy Hamlet, the junior. He had, he had the height advantage there too, so that 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 play didn't have much of a chance to be completed. That'll make it fourth and twenty-six for Holliston, who is back to punt for I believe the second time today. The punt formation, Topher Ryan is back. Deloya back to, to receive for Hopkinson. Look, Deloya to receive. Nice punt by the Holliston punter. Takes a pretty good Holliston bounce as well. That's going to go down inside the 20-yard line. About the 22, 21-yard line. Good punt well, there by Holliston. Yeah, that was a good punt. It was kind of... Bounce and then kind of settled, and Luke really didn't have a chance to field it and and take Four it, and then it ended up line. taking a nice roll for Holliston. So puts us uh, inside the, our own 20 yard line. Want to say happy birthday, Don, to Hopkinson QB Ryan Kelleher, who turns 18 tomorrow. All right, happy that's birthday, a great Ryan. It's a great age. Congratulations, Ryan. Ryan has fans watching this broadcast from El Paso, Texas, and Minnesota and Chicago. Okay. Big extended Kelleher family. All right, well, let's uh, let's see if he can celebrate his birthday here with a nice, uh, efficient drive to get back into this game. Kelleher takes the snap. He is back under pressure. That is thrown to number 24. Ball is completed for a short game to Matt, Matt Brown. Matt Brown. Chris O'Connell was in there with the heavy pressure. How I could not know his number by David now, but Harding I forgot. Yeah, that second and five. 
That was that would there was your screenplay. Um, I thought it was a blitz at first, but it was just the lineman kind of let them go, and um, that was a five-yard gain. But Holliston actually did a good job defending that Once screen. Once in a lifetime, get it now. Hopkinson breaks the huddle. 58 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Kelleher back with Brown to his right. Triple stack on the right. Kelleher rolls to his right, being pursued. He's going to keep it and go. He looks like he's got a, enough for a first down. Good scramble Ryan by Ryan Kelleher, Kelleher recognizing quickly that no one was down. open and just taking what he could get, which was about 10 yards. Yeah, Ryan uh, felt the pressure, did a nice job there. Kind of was holding the ball out a little loosely, but uh, did a nice job feeling the pressure and then made a nice cut back and got a big first, first down there. That'll be first and 10 for Hopkinson, the 34-yard line, with uh, just under 30 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Kelleher back with Brown to his right. Takes the snap and another blitz by Holliston. Kelleher going to be brought down here with nowhere to go with that. Will with the sack. The blitz by Holliston. It's like a loss of about five, maybe six on the play. Yeah, you can count on a steady, a steady dose Quarter of blitzes ends. here uh, with so many injured, passing situations. Injured Holliston Crowley defender on the field. It's like he's cramping up. It is after the big sack. We've reached the end of the quarter. Crowley with the sack Holliston. there for Holliston. Yeah, is that 17? Because whoever's the 17 came off the corner there really, really quick. Made a nice move, and then they, then I think the actual sack came from the inside. But uh, Ryan didn't have much of a shot there. And then when I glanced downfield after, you know, they're blitzing, but there wasn't anybody open downfield either. So they had good coverage. Uh, excellent defense uh, by Holliston. And putting Hopkins in here in second and 14. Well, that's the end of the third quarter. Holliston leading 28-7. Hopkinton will have second and about 14 from their own 29-yard line. Now this would go a long way towards uh, you know making a game of it here. Um, Got to got to make a play here somebody's got we got to make a big chunk right, it'll be second and 15 whether it's a long whether it's a long run or a long pass or something got to score quick another stack formation over here Kelleher back Kelleher's throw is incomplete intended for number 3 is that Salyard's done yeah, Salyards was there. Oh. I wasn't sure if it was intended Salyards for him or Deloya. They were both kind of over there. Um, the running back, I think it was Saporosius, made a nice, picked up a, a nice, third and 15. picked up the blitz nicely, but still Ryan was kind of pushed off, um, rolling left there. And uh, that was a tough pass to, to complete, and uh, just didn't happen. Uh, I thought it was you. <laughs> it's got to be a septic. Third and long here, third and 15 for Hopkinson. Kelleher back in the shotgun, takes the snap, drops back, has time, Kelleher's throws deep down the field. Is caught. That pass is complete to if Brendan Kelly. Brendan Kelly with the catch. On the big third down conversion by Hopkinson. Boy, you know what, Brendan, uh, Brendan did a great job there adjusting to the ball in the air, um, you know, using his baseball skills, but, you know, judging the ball in the air. Yeah. He did a nice job, came Le back to the ball. Leverage, Ryan Leveraged that 6-3 frame. Yeah, you know, he had the height advantage, and Ryan Ryan threw a great ball there, threw it on his, kind of his back shoulder, and that was a huge completion for the Hillers. It'll be first down for Hopkinton at the house in 34 after the long completion. Kelleher takes a snap, rolls to his right, Throws Balls incomplete. incomplete. It's like intended for Deloya. Incomplete. Or Kelly. Brendan Kelly, the intended incomplete receiver. Kelly. Yeah, that little roll and the, doing the quick out, that's an effective play normally for Hopkinton, but Tolleston had that covered on Don, that I don't, play. I don't believe Hopkinton has attempted a running play in this half. No, I don't think they have. It was just that scramble by Kelleher as long as But Neal. you know what else I've noticed here, Jack? I haven't seen Brown away. in there, and I haven't seen uh, – um, what's uh, Zach? Uh, second down. Zach Frank at all. Yeah, no. He's second and 10 for Hopkinton. 
Kelleher by himself in the shotgun. Drops back, has time. That ball the is tipped, is in, tipped the in the air. And incomplete. incomplete. David Harding on the, the step. 51 um, made a Kevin nice play. That 51 uh, Harding for Holliston knocked that ball down, or actually knocked it up. And Hopkinton was lucky that ball wasn't intercepted. Very lucky. He made a nice play because the right tackle tried to cut him. He, you know, saw it automatically, you know, very, did it, played it very well, Third used down. his hands, and then got great height and knocked that, knocked that down. That'll make it third and ten for Hopkinton at the th house in 34. Just over ten minutes to go here in the final quarter. Clear two, two down territory here. Kelleher back. Five receivers. It's offside. Allison right? blitzing. Kelleher throws incomplete. Intended for, incomplete. Like intended for Deloya. Well, I don't know. I, I would have called that. I looked like it was offside. I was blitzers the there, but they didn't Big call Scott it. And, uh, um, Ryan uh, stood tall and, that, and, and threw a really nice ball. Just wasn't the receiver wasn't able to hold on to it. Again, well covered as well by a Hollister uh, secondary. All right, that'll make it fourth and ten here for Hopkinton. And, uh, clearly four down territory being at the fourth quarter down by three scores. <laughs> Fourth and ten. Kelleher back with Brown to his right. It looks like Hopkins is going to take a timeout. The timeout, Hopkinton. Well, you got you got to be on the same page here, so you might as well might as well call the timeout. You know, you know what, 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 one thing that you can count on, Jay, is that it is going to be a blitz. Um, they're not going to sit back here and give Ryan a lot of time. So whatever type of player pattern that they're calling here is going to have to be executed quickly. Okay, here we go. Hopkinton comes out of the timeout. Kelleher back in the shotgun with Brown to his right. Fourth down and ten. He's offsides. The 17 is offsides, man. Ball's incomplete. It sure does look that way, unless he is starting from John far back. Ah, he's, he's, I don't know why they're not calling in the that. In a hurry. Holliston holds. Hopkinton takes over on downs. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what's the, what the story is there. I, if I'm, maybe it's the angle, but to me it looked like he was offsides, but... It wasn't called, so he got to him quick, and Ryan didn't really have that much of a chance to complete that pass. Yeah, Hopkinton with not much of an answer for that, that corner blitz. Well, one thing you got to do is you got to throw the ball to where the kid's coming from. So, you know, you got to got to take that snap, realize the receiver's got to realize where that blitz is, and then you just got to kind of stop where the, where the linebacker is coming from. So Holliston will take over at their own 34-yard line, first and 10. 9.59 to go here in the final quarter. Setting in the in their war package. Yeah, they're not going to be in any hurry now. It's the pitch. Um, Saparocious and Scanlon all over that. That's a loss of about five. And that, that war package has not been effective for Holliston today, Don. No, no. The Hillers have done a nice job defending it. Loss of two. It'll be the one thing that war package does is it road time off the clock, which is what Holliston's clearly going to try and do here. Oh, they'll bring it down to 35, 40 seconds. Nine and a half minutes to go. Holliston breaks the huddle. Second down and 12 from their own 32. Ibbotson takes the snap. He hands it off to Benson, who Good breaks Benson. out to the right, makes a cut, That's turns it up field. Close Good running again down. by Benson. And there's a Hopkinton. Looks like Scanlon stop. down on the play. It is a Holliston first down. It's a first yeah. down for Holliston, and these first downs are starting to become backbreakers. <clears throat> yeah, Scanlon, um, you know, he, he, he kind of did a nice job turning the play back inside there, but he took a physical toll of the, uh, of the pulling guard. 
And um, you know, the, the, the 21 there, he does a nice job of playing Eight that foot and going upfield go. with the ball. Hard, strong running. Yeah. He's only, a, so he's only a sophomore, sophomore too. It's the, pa the Holliston Panther mascot starting to get into celebration mode. High-fiving, folks. Hmm. As long as he doesn't come up here and start any trouble. Timeout taken by Holliston. Holliston takes a timeout. With 8.28 left to go here in the fourth on a, on a brisk autumn night. Well, this is, uh, you know, we're, we've got a skeleton crew here with Tom Nappy as our producer, our director, our cameraman, and uh, kind of a one-man show and uh, giving up his radio gig to, to be here with us and, uh, and the Red Sox Yankees later on. <laughs> so we appreciate that in order to, to bring this broadcast to uh, all the Hopkinton faithful. And uh, we're just looking for a little bit of good news. You know, I mean, we started the second half here certainly in a positive way, and then that 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 touchdown there was a backbreaker that Hopkins that Holliston got. Yeah, so. Hopkins came out right out of the first half and scored right away on a on a, a pretty easy looked like an easy drive right down the field, and you say, okay, we're back in this thing, and then Holliston just quickly comes back and scores right away to sort of take the life out of any momentum that the Hopkinton uh, offense had. So first and 10, Holliston at their own 45. First and 10 at the 45. <clears throat> Holliston set to take the snap. Ibbotson takes it, hands it to Benson. Quick handoff. Who was met there. Ibbotson has about five. By 24. I was, I was Deloyo came in with a nice stick there. Yeah, Deloyo came what, in, yeah. made a big hit, but not after a, a four yard gain. Still a four or five yard gain. Second and six. Yeah, I mean, well, they they got to play in safety, so you know your safety. If he makes the tackle, it's going to be downfield a little bit. But, but uh, Luke, Luke definitely brought the uh, brought the shoulder pads on that one. So here we go, second and six for Holliston. Ibbotson in the shotgun. He takes a snap. He hands it to Benson, cuts it upfield. Tristan Benson. He is going to be very close, close to, to another ho Holliston first down. It and is, it is a, a Holliston first down. The first down for Holliston inside of Hopkinson territory as they continue to grind this ball down the field through the running game. Again on that right side, Don. That's that's where they've been going. First um, and it's been working, and you know, again, 72 is a good player, but. Uh, it, it, you know, the, the other two kids that are playing there, you got one yeah. of the athlete kids that uh, is on, he's led left guard there, 55, and you know, the, their line fires off very well. They're doing a good job. First down for Holliston at the Hopkinton, 45. Vincent hands it to Benson and keeps it on the play fake. Oh, no, he doesn't. Benson has Fake me out two. again. Benson keeps it for it looks like about a, maybe a two or three yard game. Zach Alfie. See Zach Athey on the carry. The big block. Oh, sorry, with the block. Yeah, they they move him back. He was a pull, they pulled both guards. They pulled Athey and they pulled uh, 72, which they've done a lot tonight. And um, you know you don't hear lineman lineman's number being called. So right. this could be the announcer up here. It could be a friend of Paul's. I don't know, but it's good. To, I always love it when the linemen get recognized because they normally don't, unless Maybe there's a penalty. Second and eight for Holliston. Ibbotson back in the shotgun. He takes a snap, hands it to Benson. Benson again. Again makes That's a big cut, drives it upfield. He is, he is out pushed out of bounds by down, Kelly. Holliston. Looks like first and goal here for Holliston as they uh, look to put the nail in the coffin here, Don. I can tell you this 21 is uh, he's going to be a player to, to have to deal he with the next few years. And I think we're, we're looking at a future uh, you know, T Tristan TVL Benson. offensive player of the year here. It uh, may not happen front. for him this year, but he, he'll, he is a sophomore. We're going to have to deal with him for two more years, and he's, uh, he's certainly a player. With a very effective uh, offensive line blocking for him as well. Now, he's not a big kid. He's a 5'7", so I don't know how that will translate you know, as he moves forward. But certainly at this level here, um, he can be very effective. It is first and 10 at the 12-yard line for Holliston. Just over six minutes to play in this game. 
Looks like we have a timeout by Hollister. Timeout Panthers. <laughs> Again, Coach Kyle. Coach Kyle, he doesn't care about the, the Red Sox Yankees score. Well, Coach Kyle, going to make sure he uh, calls the right plays to try and finish this game off. Yeah, and this drive here, where this drive start? It started down here about, what, the 25-yard line. So, yeah, this is kind of a nail on the coffin uh, type of drive. It's kind of like just a slow bleeding. This. And you got the offense, uh, you know, sitting on the other other side thinking we just want the ball back here to cut it with get within right, two, two scores and just can't get back on the field. First and 10 for Holliston at, at the Hopkins and 12-yard line. Davidson in the shotgun with Benson. The hand is to Benson. Takes Mr. it up the middle Benson. for a short gain. Maybe a two-yard gain there. We'll make it second and eight, second and seven, I suppose. Looks like a three-yard gain. Gain of about three. Call it second and seven. Ball spotted at the nine. And again, they're taking the, the, the play clock down. You know, this is high school, so there's no play clock on the field. It's just got to be something that you kind of keep in your head. And, uh, and then the, the, the referee will tell you when you got five seconds left. This is right now when he puts his fit, fist up. 5.30 left to play in the fourth is second and seven for Holliston at the Hopkinton nine-yard line. Davidson takes it. He hands to Benson, who is Benson stopped, the and then breaks a tackle. Still grinding and then brought down Not finally. Yeah, somebody made a nice form tackle there, but that was only after he uh, – that was that was, uh, that was, that was Drew seven. Nealon again. That was Drew Coming Nealon made that tackle. Um, but it um, – that was, uh, that was after he broke three tackles to right. get that kind of yardage there. But that was an excellent form tackle there by Nealon, number 23. That'll make it third and eight for Holliston, the Hopkinton 10-yard uh, line. Under five minutes to play. Ibbotson in the shotgun with Benson to his left. Takes the snap. He keeps it. Breaks a tackle. Arbonitis, this he is line. running towards the That's pylon. There is a flag, the flag on the play. That could be a hold there the by Holliston. Line. Yeah, it was either that or a block in the back. It could have been a block in the back when he was. But either way, they're, that's going to push them back there. So I guess Jay, well, you know, this 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 game is looks like it's gonna gonna be over Holliston here, Holliston. Uh, whether Holliston gets in, in or not on this drive. Um, we got to start so thinking ahead and how this back. affects the Hillers. Um, you know, the TVL, you can kiss that goodbye because now it'll probably more than likely come down to uh, Hashland and Holliston. And I'm not sure when they play, but uh, it, it looks like loss against each one has kind of eliminated us from, from consideration for winning the TVL this year. So then you got to look at, okay, so then where do we land in Division Four South? Um, off the top of my head, we're like second in that bracket. You got Milton there. They need to they need to win a game, Don. Yeah. They need to win next week and reestablish their season. Which I think they can. I mean, Benson. you know, the Needham team they lost to was an excellent team. Right. And then they lost that heartbreaker well, last week, which, I mean, I, I felt they, you know, Hall of Hopkinton outplayed them. Um, it, Ashland played very well, and they deserved the win. But uh, it was certainly a game that could have gone Caught either way. Five. And then here, you know, I mean, a couple breaks here and there. It's not like we were completely outclassed here. It was just they made more plays, and, and we just really didn't make any. So that, that's not going to be a recipe for success. So you're right, Jay. I mean, you come back, you got, uh, I think they got Connor at Westwood Mulvaney next week. That would be a nice, nice way to get that, back on the winning track as a win down there and take it, take it from there. Holliston going to bring out the field goal unit here. Attempt what looks like about a 20-yarder. Kick is Missed up, it. and it looks like Kick he just no hooked good. it, Mulvaney. To the left. It was almost blocked, but uh, he just hooked just it left, so that's good. To go. So with four minutes and 15 seconds left to go, Hol uh, Hopkinson down by three scores here, 28-7. And let's see if they can uh, – Muster a drive here to end this game. Well, you almost don't need a drive. Yeah, you need, you need a quick play. And hey, I'll tell you what. I've, 
<laughs> I've seen crazier things happen. I've seen a, a team come back three touchdowns with like four or five minutes left. Um, you know, Stonehill did it a few years back down at LIU. They scored three, th 20 points in like a minute and a half, something crazy like that. So That's, you know, a, that's a wild, <laughs> it was wild. I've never seen anything like it. But, but, you know, here you got four minutes. You need, obviously, a big play. Um, but you, the Hillers aren't going to quit, I can tell you that much. No, they'll keep playing. Um, you can look for Kelleher probably looking downfield for Deloya. Kelleher in the shotgun. He takes it. He actually hands it there to Matt Brown, who I believe that's his first carry of the second half. No, that's not Matt Brown. That's no, number 27. 27, Pierre Zach Mulvaney, Frank. Number 27 on the ball carrier. It's like Zach Frank. I don't know if no, maybe Matt Brown. 27 is Cam Mulvaney. Cam Mulvaney. Gain is about two. Looks like that. Looks like they've got some subs in there. I mean, Kelleher's still in there. Don, I'm wondering if Matt Brown may have gotten dinged up. I'm not sure. I haven't seen him much on offense, and I haven't really noticed him on defense uh, the last drive or so, so I'm not sure. He's second and eight for Hopkinton. Kelleher takes a snap again, hands it off. Other running play. Back to Mulvaney wow. again. Well, I, you know. Cam Mulvaney, the ball carrier again. Picked up a couple more. It's third and six. Just over three minutes to go. I don't know. I'm not sure what. Uh, 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 we're just kind of running out the clock here, it looks like. Um, it would appear that Hopkinton is content to uh, run this clock out. Three minutes. Kelleher back in the shotgun with I, with Mulvaney. He pitches to Mulvaney, breaks Pitch one tackle. A nice That'll running by the first by down. the backup running back there. Gets a first down. I'm not even sure he's the backup. Mulvaney, I think he's like the third or fourth running back. He you got be. Brown, you got uh, Zach Frank, you got Saparosha. So I don't know where this kid is. What, what year is he? 27, Cam Mulvaney's a sophomore, so it looks like he had a nice little burst there. Maybe he had a good week in practice and earned himself a little varsity time. Sure, why not? Well, he he, he took, a, took a nice run there. So, okay, first down, 228 left. Um, based on that drive, I would expect him to or that, you know, last three plays. I don't, it doesn't look like we're in passing formation here. Kelleher back again, hands to Mulvaney with... Keeping gain it of on about the ground. Maybe a gain of one. Little or no gain. That takes us to two minutes. Most of the Panthers in on the stop. Well, if nobody's stopping the clock here, uh, this, this game is going to be over here in another two snaps. Both teams content to let the clock run out. As we have a minute and 40 seconds left, second and 10 for Hopkinton. Kelleher takes it again, hands to Mulvaney. Cuts it upfield for a gain of about two. Mulvaney, the ball yards. carrier. Actually about five yards. Good game by the sophomore. I'll make it third and five. Well, you got okay. So you got to lick your wounds here, Jay. Um, get back. Go. You know, go to Westwood. You guys still have half the season left, and regardless of what happens in the playoffs, you still have a revenge match coming up on Thanksgiving Day, which will be will be a lot of fun. And uh, win a few games, get in the tournament, and with all the seniors they have down in Division Four, who knows? Absolutely. It's an experienced team. Pitch to Mulvaney. As long as they can stay healthy and uh, get a couple wins, like I said, which they'll need to do to get in. And I think, you know, a couple wins against Westwood. And I got, what do we got here? Westwood and Medfield coming up. I would assume they haven't played yeah, down. Yeah, Mulvaney, the ball carrier. We'll get a first down, but we're inside a minute. You know, finish with a winning record. That does get you into the playoffs. And uh, then we'll take it from there. Looks like uh, Holliston has their twos in on defense at this point. It's getting chilly now. It is, and it'll make it. This will probably be the final play of the game here. First and ten, Hopkinton at their own 47. Kelleher hands to Mulvaney. Nothing stop there. for about a two or three yard loss, and that's going to wrap things up here, Don. 
Kevin Lyons. As the clock winds down, we say goodbye Dr. here from Holliston High School. Um, final score is going to be Holliston 28, Hopkinson 7. And we will see you all soon.